Well, that's a hard question to explain uh, what is my job, where is my office. Dakar is dangerous, maybe the world is dangerous. 95 rally, which I take part. Maybe 90, I finish on my wheels, on my legs, and uh, it's not dangerous. I would say the 2012 was the, the most difficult Dakar, the most challenging and battling. Uh, we have to fight with uh, with Mark Oma, uh, until two days before the end, and after. 14 days, it was only a couple of seconds in, in between each other. Can you imagine uh, after 12 Dakar, uh, you have uh, your own experience to get prepared? Uh. I can tell you that I will sweat a lot. I will sweat uh, on my bicycle, I will sweat on the arm crank. I will sweat on the gym, I will sweat in the sauna, I will sweat uh, ev everywhere I go. I wrote a book, but I'm not a really good writer. The money we we raise for it, it's uh, it's for uh, for a school in Africa in Senegal. In 2005, uh, my teammate Fabrizio Meoni died in Dakar. A part of the money that he, he win uh, when he, he win his first Dakar, he wanted to leave this money in in Senegal. 324 children which go to the school. They are happy and, and I'm also that. It's simple. I wanted to do the same also and uh, I was just uh, following the idea of Fabrizio and uh, it's a book, it's 200 pages of picture which uh, uh, resume shortly what was my life in the last 12 years. 200 pages, that's all. With the number one on your bike, of course you see, uh, maybe uh, you can imagine some guns behind, ready for shooting. Maybe I feel chased and I like it, I don't know. Get chased and because you win, I take both. First, I need to fight against the desert, and then we fight against each other. But uh, the, the desert is stronger. I was not born to become a, a professional uh, uh, rider or a Red Bull athlete or whatever. I was just a normal guy working in a workshop, repairing bike in Paris, and then uh, my life changed and, and I became a, a rider. And, and now I'm fighting for the, the biggest uh, race off-road in the world. 
Of course, it's important when you jump on the podium and there's a lot of people and cameras and, you know, pictures. But actually, the other victory don't count. I just keep it like this. I enjoy the moment and let's see what's going on tomorrow. <laughs>